So we play a lot of Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks over here on the channel, and to be honest, can you blame me, bro? Whenever I felt like the main series was lacking into something, I always went right back to Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks to kind of ground myself as a fan of Pokemon and like kind of live through the things that I want to see adventured in Pokemon as a franchise. Now, obviously, Pokemon is centered towards children. So, of course, like there are things that me as a grown man that wants to see in other games and wants to see in Pokemon, it can't happen, unfortunately. And we got to accept that. We got to live with that. And so you probably noticed that, like I said, we upload a lot of Pokemon fan games or rom hacks over here on the channel because that just seems to be what just fulfills and satisfy that itch of wanting both mature substance and pokemon in my games and so today we're going to be going over the top 10 pokemon rom hacks and fan games that i have ever played on this channel now wait a minute wait a minute cool out you can go watch any and all these playthroughs in the description section below in those uh descriptions for those playthrough parts there's the download link for every single game that's involved here. Normally we do like top fives per year, but I figured let's do like one big top 10 of just my favorite ones. And that way that gives people like a good, I want to say base as to what I'm looking for in a Pokemon ROM hack and fan game, or maybe just what just satisfied my mood in that moment. Who knows? Let me get all the introduction stuff out the way. Make sure you guys leave a like, a comment and subscribe. Obviously, if you guys are new, like I said, we cover a lot of these games over here on the channel. Come tap in with the boy. I'm trying to go big this year. I'm not trying to be underrated no more. Come on, stop playing with me. First off, let's get into the honorable mentions. We got Pokemon Inclement Emerald. Now, I want to say for my playthrough, I treated Inclement Emerald kind of like a part two to my Radical Red series, even though they're like two different ge like games, obviously. Come on, yo. But the features that this game has is honestly insane. It's like somebody's take on like their own Dreano type game, but for Pokemon Emerald and dude, it is so fire, bro. Literally all generations from one to seven at the current beta are available inside the game with Gen 8 coming in the future. Most routes have like a species of Pokemon that can be found, whether it's in grass, cut trees, sand mounds, berry trees, all that stuff. You can choose any set of regional starters right before the game even starts for you. The game is going off Gen 7 mechanics, so obviously Mega Evolutions, Z moves are coming in the future. They also have like new custom mega evolutions. I, I saw a mega fly gun and I was going crazy. And the fact that this game is like still getting updated, there's like different versions of it too. If you go into the Discord, there's like randomized versions. There are versions that have Generation 8, but they're not the official version. It's just one of those games that just people love and people can customize. And it's cool to be a part of that community. Next on the list is Pokemon Shinobi. Pokemon Shinobi, for the most part, is just your regular generic Pokemon fan game, but it's really nice to see Pokemon and an anime game that's not Dragon Ball Team Training kind of like Flourish. This game comes with new Pokemon, custom alternative forms for Pokemon that already exist. All your favorite Naruto characters exist inside the world of Pokemon and they exist alongside them as well. They found a very unique way to implement Pokemon into the lifestyle of the average everyday Shinobi as well as Naruto in the main cast, while also giving you the player more time to not be overshadowed by the large cast that Naruto has growing up. The reason why it's an honorable mention, unfortunately, is because one, the game is not done it's actually very very early in development and there is going to be an update later in 2023 and i will be covering that obviously and despite the developer's personal gripes with me obviously the game is still relatively great and i would still be playing the game when it gets updated and last honorable mention is pokemon realidea system now honestly i'm gonna say it this game is great it has literally everything that two other games have on this list but the thing about that is the two games that like are existing on this list that I think are better than Reality System are just immensely better. Like it, it, it's not even close if I compare them, but I just, listen, you'll understand when I get to them. Now in no particular order, I'm gonna go get these out of the way as soon as possible. We're gonna start off with Pokemon XD or Pokemon XG and Pokemon Grand Coliseum. I'll put them in one instead of two separate ones because I mean they're the same or a game so why not it's no secret that pokemon xd and coliseum are some of my favorite pokemon games like in general and the seeing how they literally updated these games to the modern generation 7 generation 8 mechanics is honestly amazing they also like unlocked all the pokemon that's available inside the game and like made it to where you can literally catch majority of the pokemon from generations one through three just with a more modernized approach for the battle mechanics. They also made the AI a lot more harder. These guys are not playing around. The move sets, like I said, have been updated to generation seven through eight, and they hit hard. Pokemon have like buffs, 
nerfs they've been reworked obviously and the game is just an overall and crazy nostalgia trip if you have a great computer that can run the dolphin emulator please for the love of god you need to try pokemon xg and grand coliseum if you've never played the original games i think these games are 100 percent the best way to experience these games if you're not trying to go all the way back to generation 3 and just kind of just play these games and experience them for the story and like with the environment all that good stuff just check it out next is going to be pokemon adventures red pokemon adventures red is a obvious pokemon rom hack that covers over red's adventures in the manga and if you never read the pokemon adventures manga then by all means this game does a really good job at i guess adding more new stuff to it but then obviously telling you the story of what happened in the manga for red and his adventure now the reason why it sounds so alarming is because the game doesn't do a good job at telling a one-to-one -one type of game when you compare it to the manga but it's still a really good game that goes over the general summary events and then adds like things from later chapters to this game as well i heard someone that the creator was actually going to make a pokemon adventures red fan game and basically do the entire pokemon adventures manga which is interesting to hear but i'm all for it and it really does suck that every time i bring it back unfortunately it just doesn't stick i feel like the audience doesn't really care about it when it comes to like a playthrough you know what i'm saying but when i played it for the first time when i played it for the i guess the first couple of like completed betas it just did really good on youtube and it was really nice that actual rom hack is how i want to say i got my first couple of starts on this youtube thing and i really am appreciative of that game you know next is gonna be pokemon sage the cool thing about pokemon sage is it's actually a community game it's made by developers from 4chan i know 4chan of all whoa, whoa, whoa. but this game is actually really cool looking bro the fake pokemon designs are honestly so breathtaking bro you gotta check it out you know even to this day some of the sprite work in this game is actually really really good and it holds in 2023 now i know a lot of people probably forgot this game even existed but this game is still being developed shout out to them as well they've been showing me like sneak peeks on the side of everything that they've been doing in the background and honestly the game just looks really really good even the new stuff they're showing still looks like it could have been made around a time that they were developing it earlier and it just looks great it just goes to show how good the older beta kind of aged into the new age because i feel like rom hacking and fan game creation has like evolved now since all these other pokemon fan games Robic have like just come out now and the sprite work for these things are crazy and it's just really cool to see that the pokemon sage guys are not like behind in that regard because they're like okay cool y'all doing this we're gonna do this and like their designs for their pokemons are really really breathtaking and i like the story so far they've introduced in like the beta that they have i'm pretty sure the beta that they have out right now is like maybe like three to four maybe five gym badges max and i think the next one is going to be the seventh or eighth gym badge and i think the next one after that is going to be the elite four and the victory roll but they're doing a really good job at kind of like just making sure that the entire game is done so when they put it out it's just completed like here you go you know next is going to be pokemon dark violet and i know a lot of y'all are tired of kanto but trust me when i tell you this you have never experienced kanto and pokemon dark violet pokemon dark violet takes all the existing kanto characters and then redo them to where they're all included in the story and then also have a significant like place in the story entirely it has a really crazy plot twist near the end of the game regarding two legendary pokemon if you're a humongous fan of the pokemon heart gold and soul silver sprite works then by all means guess what they're reusing those as well so everything looks modern and updated still to this day which just goes to show how good those sprites are those tiles are in heart gold and soul silver this is really nice my only critique with that one game is that i wish that people actually came back and didn't give up on it i wish more people came through and kind of just took over and just updated the game added more pokemon to the game i wish the game was more modern so more people can like you know obviously care about it more because as it stands it's literally just generations one through i think four and despite it still being really 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 good as a standalone rom hack at this point it's kind of just dated but the game is still phenomenal if you have never played it you should 100 percent play it but that's it now we're getting close to the top five jesus christ but the next one is gonna be pokemon reborn pokemon reborn is a classic pokemon fan game it's one of the most like immersive and also one of the oldest pokemon fan games to date at this point and it took 10 years to get completed but i can actually say that the 10 years is worth the wait i think personally for me i know a lot of people did not like the ending and a lot of people did not like like the story how it like turned out but for the most part i think reborn 
in terms of what it is is really really great i think it introduced a lot of new things to pokemon in terms of pokemon fan games and rom hacks development it's also where like the dark and edgy humor and like tones for a lot of pokemon fan games after it came through from and the difficulty is nuts dude i can't tell you how many like nuzlocks i've seen fail because they think that oh yeah i can be pokemon reborn no you can't no you can't no you can't no nah, you cannot i'm sorry to let you know that you just cannot the episode 19 update just got really really crazy near the end of the main storyline and honestly bro it was really nuts to see lynn and just what she does to everybody in the game it's like she's like this ethereal being well spoilers and even though i never did the after game i still thoroughly enjoyed my adventure in pokemon reborn speaking about pokemon reborn the next on the list is going to be pokemon rejuvenation to me personally i love rejuvenation a lot more than reborn i think i'm a lot more immersed into that story especially because i was there when the game came out whereas reborn reborn had a couple of years on me before i came in the youtube game and it's just nice to see that rejuvenation while being a reborn copy kind of like became something on its own and like they redid a lot of the sprite works they redid a lot of the things they made the story just a lot more i don't know more digestible in my opinion than reborn story it's not like convoluted it's not that many characters it's like a set main cast of characters and they kind of just go through the world and it's cool nothing new battle wise has come from the game minus like you know the usual new mega evolutions new forms for certain pokemon new shinies for certain pokemon as well but for the most part like it still keeps that same rejuvenation like slash like reborn difficulty with just like a way more better story i feel like than reborn honestly i cannot believe we're in the top five the next one is going to be pokemon unbound unbound is one of those games that was also in development hell for a while but at, at some point it came out and when i say it came out and made waves that is an understatement they came out and literally changed the game for rom hacking forever the guy that made the game is using and created the engine that a lot of these newer fire red rom hacks are using as their base to be even good and modernized anyway you can tell that in this game he literally sat there and tried to rework that entire program for himself and to be honest with you man when i tell you pokemon unbound for now as opposed to what it was when i first played the game when it first came out the completed version first came out is an entirely different game you can do so many things are unbound there's so many people like doing like different types of runs mono runs nuzlocks different hardcore locks like there's so much you can do in pokemon unbound the story is really really good if you're just a regular casual player the characters are really nice the sprite works are really good the all of the pokemon being available to you is really really nice especially when you play like the custom versions you can just go crazy from the jump and just give yourself like the godliest team and be fire with it it's such a really good game and it does a really good job at being for the player and not like i guess the guy i feel like a lot of like rom hacks and fan games while they are rom hacks and fan games created by people a lot of the time those games are made with like the person's like ego and wants and their like selfish desires in it but for the most part unbound is like the most accessible pokemon rom hack that you can play and like he gives you an option to be like hey yeah you can play the story sure but if you're like one of those guys that i like, take the game really really serious you have access to all the pokemon you want however you want to build them and just play the game and i think that's the big thing about it like the amount of replayability that unbound has is breathtaking and i think that a lot of more people should like honestly unbound needs to be in like a hall of fame museum honestly the unbound is so good bro and it changed the game for so many games to come like it's phenomenal bro the next one is gonna be pokemon xenoverse and dude when i tell you i love xenoverse if you're a generation 2 guy in terms of like the characters and the story then by all means you're gonna love pokemon xenoverse but then also xenoverse is one of those games where it's like it's a breath of fresh air and it's an introduction to what the spanish and other foreign communities have whenever it comes to pokemon and what they like see the series as i feel like a lot of the times that because of that language barrier a lot of pokemon fan games and rom hacks don't really come over here well to the english speakers and it was really nice to see that xenoverse came out and even though it didn't have a english version off babes like off rip it had one a month later and when it was i can tell you it was so fun playing through the game and it felt like it was its own anime it felt like everything despite being scripted in sometimes 
it kind of just felt like damn like this stuff is hard it kind of just felt like you're you're playing through if you remember in pokemon i think it's pokemon chronicles right the first three episodes are like the jimmy and the raikou story or whatever and it felt like you were playing an entire season of that and obviously over time the game has like been modernized now there's like maybe like three or four dlc expansions and honestly the game now compared to what it came out as is just way better there's a lot more content in the game as well but then also the i guess the mobile game did really really good to the point where they're actually making their own pokemon like game and i'm gonna put like the i guess the game name in the description is actually a kickstarter going on for it right now you can go check it out i think it's like lumen tail or something like that and when i say that game looks phenomenal i might do like one singular video on it my damn self just to like spread the word but when i tell you that i love the sprite work and the people behind pokemon's universe they're just really 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 good and they pay a really good attention to detail the the amount of representation that was inside the pokemon game was really really nice if you want to play like a breath of fresh air pokemon xenoverse is where you need to be we're getting close to the final two and obviously i feel like you knew this was gonna happen this is pokemon radical red now obviously i have a bias towards radical red because i was like the first person to like cover the game and i don't want to say i popularized the game but when i tell you that like every single episode that i did for the first like what maybe like week or two of uploading it daily every video was doing like twenty thousand that day or 10,000 that day or 15,000 that day and it was really nice to see that like you know obviously in that time I was cultivating like a thumbnail style a distinct type of like style for myself and my content space and it was really cool seeing like so many people like take the game and kind of just do their own thing with it but then also it was really really interesting to see a lot of people kind of just take like my thumbnail style or take like uh the video style and kind of just like do his thing and I'm like okay well I hate people but it's always cool to inspire people and it's always cool to like kind of see what people do with your own thing and it's really nice to see that like you know i was able to take radical red as a playthrough and as like a test subject and kind of like evolve from it because after radical red it was blazing emerald it was inclement emerald and even now to this day those thumbnail designs are still being made and or i guess they're still used as basis for modern thumbnails on this channel and I love that for me because it just knows like you can look at those thumbnails and be like, oh, yeah, that's a Nick video. And that for me is one of the best things about the game is that that's my bias towards it. But besides that, like the game is phenomenal. It's using the exact same engine that uh, Pokemon Unbound is using. But for the most part, it's really just a Smogon boss battle, boss rush type of game you're going through the game all the pokemon trainers have like a distinct team all the pokemon have been updated all the pokemon are having like smoke on sets every team is honestly very challenging whenever it comes to like the main bosses the ai is a lot more challenging and harder they actually try to destroy you there's like level caps and stuff there's also easier ways to level up to those level caps and there's like i said like just like pokemon unbound there are different ways to play pokemon radical red and you've probably seen them already it's been like two years since the game has came out and honestly it's just a really nice it's still really 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 nice like game if you're like really into kanto they added so much stuff the dynamax z moves uh, the raid battles all that stuff you can literally get access to almost all the pokemon uh, there's different ways so it's not like a broken way to get it but there's different ways to get like certain items certain move sets you can breed in the game it's just an amazing game radical red is so good bro oh man man ladies and gentlemen last but not least is pokemon apollo everything that i said about pokemon xenoverse and pokemon realidea system are literally the exact same thing with this game i just think this game just does both better Apollo feels like you're actually playing an anime and it's almost like wow every character has like their own distinct personality they're like uh generic characters obviously as well but there's characters that have like really shining moments like Mundanez, Apollo, I love Papalato who's like inspired off of the princess and the frog guy I love how like it's like a Prometheus kind of plot and honestly it's really cool to see somebody's take on let's say an apocalyptic event in pokemon and you kind of just like go there and you you're the only one that can prevent it and even then like the gods don't love you the thing that you're trying to fight against is like just sitting here about to kill you and you still find a way to survive and you like go through the entire game with all these pokemon being accessible to you 
it's just a really, 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 really good game. The story in Apollo is honestly, I'm not gonna hold you, Apollo, Pokemon Apollo is the best Pokemon fan game. If they came back and like maybe modernized it a little bit more because the game came out like wait, two or three years ago, so obviously we're like maybe like a generation behind, right? If they came back and updated the game a lot more, then by all means, it'd be one of those games where it's like, it could stand through time. But for the most part, I think that the story is really, 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 really good. I think that the gameplay is really phenomenal. And I think that like, you know, everything that the game has to offer is really good, especially the content. You like, there's so much after game content too. It's honestly breathtaking seeing like the language barrier be destroyed. And like, we can play their games now because obviously the Spanish community and the English speaking community and like the other foreign communities, there's like, a, like I said, that, that language barrier kind of prohibits us from ever like crossing over to each other, but they can play our games just fine because obviously they have to learn to speak English, but we can't play theirs. And I think that's the, that's the, uh, what's the word? That's the, 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 the ignorance of us English speakers, mostly English speakers, but it's just really, really cool to just finally play through those games and experience their culture and how they view Pokemon and how they like love Pokemon as well. A lot of love goes into these foreign games. And I think a lot of people like kind of overestimate that. And that's, you know, that's just is what it is. But with that being said, that's going to be it for me. Those are my top 10 or top 13 Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks. The best Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks, in my opinion, uh, if you feel like one's missing Listen, if y'all bring up Pokemon Insurgents, I'm literally deleting your comment. I'm deleting your comment. The game is not that good anymore. Suze, I love you. But unless you come back, no. Anyway, uh, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, obviously, for some more Pokemon content. And that's going to be it for me. Bye.